Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, I guess we're gonna be getting some weather change coming up in the next, well, tonight, tomorrow night, something like that. Uh, we're talking about this next week getting back, back down into the 20s, pretty much all week. So we'll be back into some cold weather soon enough, which, you know, it's, it's getting towards the end of November, especially by next week, so. I guess that's just normal for us. So it's that we've we've enjoyed the the back into warmer weather we've had in the last uh, few weeks, but you know that that's only going to last for a little bit longer. I think something strange is up. Um, you know, even though I dip my toes into politics occasionally on this on this channel I, I really try to stay away from the actual political side of things sure i may make some offhand comment about sleepy joe or something like that but I really try to stay away from the whole political election process because as i have stated many times i think it's all a big fraud um, they're not elected they're selected um and it's 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 a big scam it's a big scam anymore but I think something is is uh, happening when it comes to Joe Biden. Um, all along, as many times, even from the from before he even took office, before he even took office, there's been all of these speculations of he'll only last a little while. He's old and decrepit and senile, and you know Kamala Harris will be the the next president, right? She, she he was just going to last just a short amount of time, and something was going to take place and then Kamala would be president or there was also speculation of Nancy Pelosi when she was speaker of the house oh that you know she'll be the next president all these speculations and then you know as it got into kind of the two-year mark and it looked like that that probably wasn't going to happen then it became you know well the next election the next election something was going to happen between then and the next election to prevent him from running for office and you know someone else would get elected and uh, all along he has been pushing along and you know he's gonna re run he's gonna run he's gonna run and I, I think that's still the official story but I've noticed something that's happened just over a matter of days really I mean it's it started a couple of weeks ago I think it, it felt like it did but really in the last few days it's really been building it's like the left is seemingly pretty quickly walking away from Joe Biden um, it started off with the whole Israeli Gaza thing. Um, the, the, the vast majority, it seems like, and I, I'm just, just my own speculation, my own observation. So I could be completely wrong, but it appears that the vast majority of the left, um, strongly supports, you know, the Palestinian cause, I guess you could say, or that, that Gaza needs to, you know, be left alone and that Israel is, you know, committing war crimes and, and, and all of this kind of stuff, except Biden. Biden, um, has been, has been, you know, very staunchly supporting what Israel is doing and uh, sending obviously lots of stuff over there to Israel and just, you know, whatever Israel says, Biden supports it. And that's gotten him some pretty heated hate from his own camp. In fact, there's been uh, news that people in the State Department, other parts of his government, these are people that work directly under the president, under his branch, uh, have been sending him letters condemning this actions, condemning Biden's support of Israel and, and, and begging and demanding that he stop, you know, so openly supporting Israel and either take a neutral stance or see that, you know, Israel needs to stop. So there's, there's definitely, you know, a shift there. There's been some pretty violent protests against the president in Washington, D.C. from the left. So the left, is out there protesting against their president. Uh, so we're seeing that. I've also noticed that in the last few days, there have been some celebrities that have come out <clears throat> and said, you know, I, I, I'm not voting for, for, for Joe Biden. <clears throat> I don't support him. In fact, one, um, he's a some kind of actor. I don't really pay any attention to Hollywood and actors and stuff, but apparently he's somewhat famous on TikTok and in Hollywood actor. And he said that he's actually going to support 
Trump, even though he cannot stand him and, and absolutely hates Trump, uh, he'll support Trump in the election because he believes Trump will actually stop uh, this war between Israel and Gaza. Uh, there was another, uh, The Rock, that's who it was. The Rock was on Joe Rogan, and The Rock was making some comment that, um, in a joking way, that none of his liberal Hollywood friends really support Joe Biden at all. Uh, but they do support the Democratic Party. So there's more and more kind of shifting away from him. Now, the question is, what's going on? We've got a less than a year before the next election, and, and we're seeing this shift away. I'll be frank with you. I, I don't have the answer. I know some of you are going to immediately jump in and say, well, that, you know, that shows that Trump's going to win it. Trump's going to win it. I have held back my opinion of this for quite some time because I know my listener base and I know it's probably going to upset you, but it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. Uh, my opinion is, is that either A, Trump doesn't have a chance of winning because it's already rigged, or B, two, B, whatever, um, if Trump is elected into office, it's because he's just part of the rigged system. Um, I, I cannot see at this point in the game there being any kind of legitimate free election of the people, by the people. I, I, I mean, maybe I'm far too pessimistic. Maybe I've, I've you know, eaten too many black pills. But that's, that's where I stand. So my opinion is, is that if Trump does win the presidency back, um, it's because he's part of part of the part of the game folks he's just he's part of the game and i know uh, some of you have thought that all along anyways i've always speculated that that may be the case because of little bits of pieces here and there and maybe maybe i'm wrong but i i kind of think that it's going to go the other way that's just my opinion i noticed that uh this this past week well the last few days not necessarily week the last few days xi jinping you know he's been in, in southern california uh, for the big, what, APEC or APEC or whatever it is um, thing. And, of course, there's video with him and Joe Biden. Joe Biden met him and all that kind of stuff. And Joe Biden looks like he always does, but maybe even worse, just kind of pathetic. He called him a dictator. He looks so feeble. There's no energy. I, I mean, it, it looks like Xi Jinping went to the local nursing home and found some old guy to shuffle around with. Then there's pictures and videos with Xi Jinping meeting with the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, who is someone that a lot of people speculate may just pop up out of nowhere as being the next presidential candidate because he's really been doing things over the last few months that appears to be that he's campaigning. And so these videos and pictures of Xi Jinping with Gavin Newsom look very different. They're actually smiling. In fact, one uh, picture the internet has is all a buzz, saying it's the first picture that anyone's ever seen of Xi Jinping with that kind of smile. And I mean, it's not just a, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, a joyous smile, right? And, and he, it looks all energetic, you know, here's this, you know, this young, you know, governor that could be the next president with, you know, the world leader of the world, Xi Jinping, and they're, they're all like having a good time and it, and it looks warm, right? I mean, it's fake, of course, but it looks warm. And so is it possible that, you know, this little meeting was to say, hey, Joe, sorry, we're done with you. Uh, we're gonna go with Gavin. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's all speculation at this point. None of us know. You don't know. I don't know. None of us know. But I do think that something is is up when we're watching. It's just uh, shifting away. And, and then the the criticism of Joe Biden, which there always has been from the right. You know, the the conservative you know group has always has always criticized uh, Biden. But it's like the criticism now is more out in the open to where. There's not really any rebuttal from the left. Usually if, if there was some criticism of, of Joe Biden because of his age or incompetency or something like that, there would immediately be this, the left would jump on and, you know, well, what about Trump? And, and I'm not seeing that that much anymore. I think that the left is done with Joe Biden. I think that they're 
it's just a, an opinion. This is all a big old speculative video. It's, I, it, I don't know. It's, I just think that there's something up and I could be completely wrong. I would be shocked. Um, I would be shocked if, if, you know, Joe Biden runs again. I would be shocked if Joe Biden wins. I would be shocked if Joe Biden stays, you know, for another four years. I, it's not the first time I'd be shocked. It's, it could easily happen. But I'm still leaning strongly towards someone else, something happening that Joe Biden has to bow out. Maybe he completes this presidency, but he's like, you know, this, this, this is happening. And I just can't continue, you know, running. A lot of us have thought it would be the legal problems, which seems to be nothing. You know, Joe, uh, Joe Biden was uh, cleared of any wrongdoing in the classified file cases. You know, they go after Trump for it, but with Joe Biden, it was cleared. Uh, so far, most of the Hunter Biden stuff that's come up has all been whitewashed and, you know, it's done. So it doesn't appear that any legal problems that the Republicans don't seem to be very interested in anymore in, in impeaching Joe Biden. And, and I don't think that would affect it anyways. But the point is, is that the heat of him in a legal sense seems to be waning. So is there something else? Is it just, is it this Israel thing? Um, is it going to be something else? Just, just the fact that he's old and senile and and I mean, it looks like someone, it's weakened at Bernie's all the time anymore. We all know that. But I, I do wonder if something's up. Now, how does that affect everything? Well, right now it doesn't affect a whole lot. Right now it's just speculation and it gives us something to do to take our minds off of the fact that the rest of the world is burning around us, right? Rome is burning and we're all sitting here wondering, when's the time that it's getting close enough to us that we need to bug out? I mean, I think that's what most of you are kind of thinking. You know it's happening. It's not this what if anymore. It's like, well, if the world ends, if the, if the government collapses, if this happens, it's happening. It's just the flames haven't gotten quite close to you yet. It's They're not close enough to you. You, you know that they're off in the distance and you're sitting around saying, now, can I time this to where I can stay in the comfort zone of, you know, modernity just long enough to enjoy the last vestiges of it and still give myself enough time just before the flames hit to pew. um that's i don't know that's just kind of my opinion but how things are looking um, it, it's happening the world is burning around us basically figuratively and literally in places uh, and we're, we're seeing uh, more and more stuff someone sent me some pretty good information i'm still going over it and you know consuming it of of the central bank digital currency stuff that's been moving very very full steam ahead while all of this other distraction stuff is going on you know think about it it's it's been about a year since the central bank digital currency stuff has really been heavy in the news and there's been a lot of stuff going on uh, around the world to distract people and and it's still happening folks it's it's still happening quite a bit there's a lot of things going on and I think that we're just we're just trying to figure out when's the right time to to leave and and the knowing that the longer that we're able to stay in the normal uh you know world then we can still be acquiring things we can still be you know building our our preparations because once we kind of go to the bug out stage it, at that point we're not prepping anymore you know you're not really going to be prepping once you're bugging out or bugging in or or severing your ties fully with with the world i don't have all the answers i i wish i did if i did I would most certainly give them away to you freely. But I can tell you, and I know this is just confirmation with most of you anyways, that, that things are rapidly progressing. And, and, and I know rapidly is, figurative, is a figurative word, but they really are rapidly progressing towards um, a, a pretty abysmal uh, place. And so we have to continue, continue what we're doing, right? Uh, not to give up, don't get discouraged. Uh, everybody goes through burnouts. I was talking to a few different people. It was interesting. The conversation came up over the last week, week and a half of, of that feeling of burning, of that burnout, and then and how, to, how to push through it, you know. Taking a little time 
to kind of refresh yourself, rejuvenate, get some rest, but then also knowing that we can't lose focus uh, and, and picking up that, you know, and, and, and moving forward again. And I think that's a, that's a hard place for us, I think because of the, the nature of the news cycles and, and what the, the globalists are doing, they're doing these kind of things purposely to kind of wear us down, to kind of get us into this, this heightened state of, of stress and panic over a long period of time to where it, it just wears us down and now we've become used to it. Don't let that happen. Uh, continue to move forward. Quit, quit believing the lies from people, even within our own circles. And that's that's a, another fake term, but you know the people that claim that they're in our own circles, but and they're, they're spinning this lie that oh things are normal. It's it's just quit overreacting. This is all fine. Nothing's really. It's not really that big a difference between now and, and in the past. That's that's a lie, folks. Things have happened rapidly. Oh, nothing's going to happen because nothing ever does. You've heard that so many times. Nothing's going to happen because nothing ever does. Well, <clears throat> unless you've been living under a rock, you know, in a creek bed somewhere, uh, a lot of things have happened over the last few years, and they're going to continue to happen. So uh, keep getting yourselves ready and preparing for whatever they throw at us next. This whole, like I said, Joe Biden thing, who knows? Who knows when that will that will finally take place if it does? Get your houses in order, folks. Yeah, you gotta be doing that. Um, time's ticking away. Weeks, months, years, who knows? But in the end, it's still not a lot of time, regardless of which one of those it is. So get your preparations going. Build your community, strengthen your families. Uh, get on your knees, draw closer to the Father, and and just get yourselves ready mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.